Okay, second bird. Holy cow. Look at that dude. White head on him. He is awesome. Again, I don't want him to bat his wings too much, but they're just nasty. Oh, what a lovely morning. You know what we're headed to do today. Yo. Sorry, I can't scream. <laughs> we're in Orson's. Uh, welcome back to the pigeon trapping videos. I have you on the phone. I hope it comes out all right. But today we gotta get a lot of new stuff. Firing up the pigeon trapping videos. Uh, I need a bunch of stuff. Feed, buckets, rope, yeah. We do already have one trap live. We should have some birds in it. I've had it out for about three or four days. Uh, so we will be checking that real soon. But first off, you guys know that I am a huge, huge bucket guy. I love them. Uh, this tan one, this color, I absolutely love it. Uh, I love buckets for first reason, pigeon trapping. You need somewhere to put your birds um, so they don't get out, you know transferring them on and off of the roof feed cameras can go in here water and i've been using the white ones but man i can hunt with these they will blend in really good on the old pigeon hunts so uh, so we might as well get two of them bad boys they're only 4.99 not bad really all right all right next thing on the menu this right there there it is boom this will allow me to drop my uh, pigeon cage and bait bucket off of the roofs so I don't have to carry them in my hand while going up and down the old ladder. All right, well, Orsland's got really busy. And if you know me by now, I don't like filming in front of people I don't know. You can imagine how awkward it gets, but here we are. Had to get some poultry food because we got chickens and ducks again at the house i will show you all here in a little bit after we check the first rooftop and i have awesome info something extremely exciting i think, I think it's going to become a business and i'm going to be able to uh, collaborate with one of the biggest pest control services in my area um, that they just became great buddies of mine and i would love to uh, make this a summer gig of mine and do it a bunch more if you guys think that's an awesome idea let me know down below. Uh, I think I'd really enjoy it, but let's get back to it. Number one, uh, whole cleaned corn is my go-to uh, for trapping the old pitch. And then we had to get some pigeon food because we got to feed them after we trap them. So, <sighs> if y'all have been here over the years with the pigeon trapping, yeah. Ooh. Them stairs get me every time. Let's roll. <laughs> yes. Oh, we got something special. You know what the deal is. It's always fun coming around the corner and seeing live birds. First trap of the year. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Three and three with a really special bird. Look at that. A red, an auburn, whatever you guys like to call them. Yes, dude. Awesome. So back to the business part of this deal. If all goes well, um, all I got to do is take a test. Uh, pretty easy test, I think. And then get my um, wildlife nuisance trapping license. And then I can actually uh, not only just make videos, but actually get paid uh by doing this as a service i think it'd be awesome what do y'all think and that's what i've been needing i i need some, you know just more to do during the summer another job yes this is a job this is fun but i need another job if i just related the two i love trapping pigeons so you tell me good idea bad idea so this is everything i brought we will get to that in one second. Alrighty, here we are. Um, time to go in the old bucket. What a first day. Um, I think the red one's just gonna be our special one. We'll go with him first, how about that? We usually wait till last, but look at, oh, he mad. They always come out fighting, just boxing. Oh, like I said, good looking red pigeon, man. 
can't beat it. I call them Auburn pigeons. Probably isn't correct, but it's what I've always used. He is going home with us. First off, forgot to do this. I need to bait this before I put all of my pigeons in the bait bucket. So I gotta do that real quick. Watch out guys, watch out. Watch out. It doesn't take a lot of bait, but you wanna make sure they got good water, good food, which I just bought a new water feeder and um, it doesn't fit in the cage. Finding one that fits is kind of a pain in the butt. So just gonna have to order one from the trap manufacturer. But six pigeons today, not a bad haul. Um, it looks like eh, he's got decent age on him. Um, it looks like a couple of them are in fact pretty darn young like this guy. This is a baby. Look how young that guy is. You can really tell uh, just his face, his colors. He's really tiny. Uh, yeah, probably two young ones. But I'm going to load these birds up and uh, I'm also going to show you a few tricks that I use up here. Uh, that's an old bird. Old, 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 old bird there. That's the ones you want. That's the ones you want. Cause when old granddaddy comes in here, <clears throat> all these young ones follow him. So there we go. I do leave the lid cracked a little bit so they can get some air for now. Right when I get down to the truck, I transfer them into a portable uh, cage. So we gotta, we gotta get to that. So like I was saying, this is the water that I bought that does not fit in there. But what I usually do is bring up a new uh, bucket every season, put her right there, crowd the bricks around her pretty good. And that is in fact my rain catcher. But when it does rain, it's free water so I don't have to carry it up and down the stairs all the way up here on the rooftop. So. Oh, it's getting warm out. These birds are ready for some water. Um, just got the uh, pigeon loft out back here. If y'all haven't seen it, you're about to. Got her all cleaned up, uh, shoveled out, washed down, ready to go. Filled all their water bowls, and we're ready to start loading pigeons into the loft. Now, first question I know. You're all like, what do you do with the pigeons? Um, I'll be up front and honest. I provide a lot of my dog trainer buddies uh, pigeons for dog training. If you know what all goes into that, great. If not, I'm not here to describe it. Go find out on yourself. Go ahead and Google it. And number two, some of them are dispatched, relocated, taken care of. But I keep them here and uh, sometimes I just release them and let them fly, them fly around a little bit. Some of them get taken out by hawks. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm just being honest, uh, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go with that whole comment, but let's introduce them to their new temporary home. Go on, go on there, go on, go on. All right, now we got them all in there. All the doors are locked, we're ready to go. All right, next day, let's see what we got. Nothing. All right, that makes sense. So. We really cleared this out with the six that we caught yesterday up on this rooftop. Now, I'm gonna show you something. I got a call from a buddy. I was talking about the new spot earlier in the video, I believe. Got a call from a buddy earlier. He's like, hey, you wanna help me? They own a pest control service, pretty much. Um, he was like, can I, do you want some more pigeons trap? I'm like, yeah. And this is where the whole business idea might actually come true today. Um, that building right there. So see, there's pigeons up here. You probably can't see them. A ton of them stay over there. And I'll show you in one second what I'm talking about. But that is a brand new parking garage. And the money that um, the Fox Theater spent to build, not only build that new parking garage, tremendous and then they tried to pigeon proof the entire thing which i'll show you that and you're talking i don't know they probably did a hundred thousand dollars in pigeon defense that's how 
bad the pigeons are downtown. So, lots of new things happening. The new spot, I did set the trap yesterday. Um, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'll do some explaining when we get up there. All right, here we are, the new spot. Crazy little spot. Oh, there goes one. One that I didn't get in the first 24 hours. So, this trap has been here actually, uh, man, I bet you it's only been about 18 hours probably, 20 hours, somewhere around there. Guarantee you we have some in the trap up here, but it is a little AC flat. And boy, howdy, this is where I grew up, these alleys skateboarding. Let me tell you, I used to hate them signs. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see how many we got in here. <laughs> Oh, no way. Really? There goes another two. What? Look at all the eggs. There's tons of eggs everywhere. As you can see, it's nasty. They poop everywhere. The dead one right there. Nothing. That's crazy. They're a little harder than I thought, okay. Anyways, uh, my buddy who hooked me up with this location, as you can see how nasty it is, um, they're actually on a paid contract to clean this twice a year, um, sanitize it and everything, and it's just, uh, it's gross. You can see they have this electric reflector that obviously the pigeons are used to. We got one hanging, hanging back there, a wind one, but it's just nasty. For this being cleaned twice a year, it's nasty. I mean, it's nasty. But we're gonna keep running the trap. I put it underneath this AC. Um, I, I used my small one that I had laying around, perfect size. I cannot believe we haven't got one in here yet. I would assume um, the ones that have been checking it out have been eating the corn around the edges where they can reach it without having to go in. So, probably going to have to give it a little bit of time here and let them eat that pile to where they can't reach it anymore. And then, oh and then, we will catch them. We will. Alright, moving on. <laughs> it is humid. Check it out. We got some storms a-brewing. We are here on the cosmos fair if you don't know what the cosmos fair is google it uh here in central kansas i set this trap again not even 24 hours ago guess what didn't eat, this guy didn't even get a chance to eat the corn off the top of the roof i just put it on the ground but we only got one in here check him out but hey day two that puts seven birds in the bag I honestly thought that it would produce a lot more, but give us some time, let the birds find the food source and everything, and we should start picking up production. Now, number one, this being the third year trapping just, you know, on this roof, uh, the fourth year on uh, the other roof, I've pretty much cleaned the area out as far as the residential birds up here, but um, hopefully it picks up, if not, definitely gonna have to uh, abandon the rooftops that I have and move on to greener pastures where people actually have a nuisance problem with the pigeons. Seems like I've kind of got them under control on these few rooftops that I've been on for the last handful of years. So it's looking like it. Looking like Bobby needs to be adventurous and go find new land. <sighs> well, next day so third day on this video i hope you guys like the day to day to day content with the trapping big news more to come yes i just got done uh with the state test it's a hundred question exam and uh basically you just got to know everything about trapping uh fur bearing everything right all the laws regulations i passed so uh, i am now able to charge for my pigeon trapping services and honestly that's a big thing for me it's it's really exciting uh the gal at the office was like so i'm gonna put your name down for uh trapping 
uh, services so we so any you know business in the community can reach out to you and try to hire you for your services I was like oh wow you guys provide that they're like oh absolutely especially for pest control and she was like actually not many people trap pigeons so you should be getting a lot of calls and I'm like good deal so it's gonna get busy and I'm ready here we go the new growth spot has it provided oh it has looks like we got two two and yesterday when I was here this ledge I leaned on it yeah my forearms were nasty sticky oh that's why look at that just gross sticky stuff everywhere Ooh. let's see what we got Let's pull this on out of here. What's in here? Oh, okay, we got two. We got a really good looking bird. Really good looking bird. Ugh. All right, there we are. Sorry, that train is going insane, y'all. What do we got happening in here, boys? What do we got? Ooh, sorry. I'm trying to get you steadied up here. All right, there we go. All right, first bird. Ugh, they are nasty. I'm gonna have to go wash my hands. This is gross. It rained a bunch last night, so it's just poop and mud, and they are slinging nasty all over me. There we go, first bird. He is a just a regular blue bar. I don't want him to bat his wings, because if he does, he's gonna spray me with a bunch of muddy crap. Literally muddy crap. Okay, second bird. Holy cow. Look at that dude. White head on him. He is awesome. Again, I don't want him to bat his wings too much, but they're just nasty. Look how gross they are. Just got a lot of poop and mud on their, on their wings and on their feathers, but awesome looking bird right there. Well, the train was absolutely driving me nuts, and I'm sure it was driving y'all crazy as well. But I recently had to remove all of my traps. Me and the family went out of town for a few days. And the thing about pigeon trapping, guys, legally, you have to check your traps every single day. It doesn't matter what type of trap it is out there, if it's pigeons, coyotes, raccoons, possums, I don't care, it's whatever, right? You have to check them every freaking day. And uh, whenever I go out of town during the summer and I got traps up, I gotta pull them. And what I mean, I, I usually just, you know stand them up on in kind of leave them up there but just position them to where no birds can get inside them and trap themselves so since then i have gotten on a huge roof and i think that we are going to trap we could very possibly trap over a hundred in a couple weeks off this new roof um roof roof whatever <laughs> there is a handful of y'all that always correct my language out here uh, I, I, man I'm 36 years old I got them kids okay I ain't changing for nobody but this new roof disgusting old building I've wanted to get on it for freaking ever because of the amount of pigeons on top of it these pigeons aren't just coming and going they are definitely using it they are living on it they've been there for years and when i'm talking years i'm talking like 20 plus years so it should be awesome stick around for those videos guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's trapping video i've been excited to release this video to you guys something different giving the hunting a little bit of a break whatever you guys want me to do with the trapping let me know down in the comment section right now please go down there drop me a comment let me know what you want to see I'll do it. I want to do it. And guys, we are booking hunts here at Sandhill Flowey, my hunting guide service here in central Kansas. We provide duck and goose hunting, three-day trips, father, sons, families, corporate events. You get a hold of me. Let's make it happen. We run November through February. All you got to do, go down in the description, fill out the inquire to book form. You'll see the Sandhill Flyways hunt with me link. Go down there, hit it. I want to get y'all here a lot of father sons come through that are subscribers long-term subscribers here on the channel thank you guys for being here remember tell me what you want to see subscribe if you haven't but until next time